Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Cafe Lena. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, we are very excited to welcome Livingston Taylor back to Cafe Lena. It's always a treat to have him here. Um, yeah. Um, someone who has uh, been at the top of his game for a very long time and uh, continues to find ways to, to reinvent himself and, uh, and uh, reach people with his music. And uh, something that he has paid close attention to throughout his career as a headline performer is making space for other artists and making space for emerging artists in particular. And it's something that uh, we as a venue uh, really understand because the opening set is a way to introduce artists to a new audience um, and in particular introduce artists that you believe in. And we do this quite a bit at Cafe Lena um, and we are doing this today with Livingston. Um, so we, when, when Livingston uh, hears an artist um, and takes an interest in an artist, we listen, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Um, so our, our opening artist today um, is Rachel Sumner. Um, she is currently a finalist for the John Lennon songwriting competition, um, and if you enjoy what you hear today, you can actually help her win some really cool prizes um, and, and some really important uh, financial support for for her artistic work. So um, keep an eye on uh, Rachel moving forward. Keep an eye on that songwriting competition. And uh, I hope you enjoy what you hear from her this afternoon. So please join me in welcoming her for the first time to Cafe Lena. This is Rachel Sumner. Thank you so much. Hello. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, my name is Rachel Sumner, as was said, um, and I prepared a little song for you to get to know me a little bit better. Uh, I am originally from California, but I've spent the last decade here on the East Coast, so this is a song aptly titled 3,000 Miles. <laughs> It can 
chance to find yourself it can take a while it can take miles to find yourself it can take a while it can take miles to find yourself it can take a while it can take miles to find yourself it can take a while seems like I'm always heading somewhere what's the
Thank you so much. All right, who in here has heard of the Radium Girls? All right. So the Radium Girls were a group of women in the early 1900s who worked in factories, um, and they handled a paint called Undark, uh, and it was a, a mixture that um, was laced with radium, and they would paint watches, watch faces, so that they would glow in the dark. Originally, for uh, World War I, for the men in the trenches, so that they could coordinate themselves to each other without having to strike a match and give away their position. So it was very recent that uh, I learned about these women, um, only a few years ago. And uh, I'm a big fan of the child ballads and, and all kinds of folk ballads where they tell a story and, and that story lives through the centuries in that way. And so I, I wanted to write my own ballad for these women uh, to try to, to introduce them to new, new people um, because I think it is very important that you learn about these women. So this is a song called Radium Girls. In the days when Rosie Beck and girls to join assembly lines, a mixture simply named Undark made wristwatch faces shine. And women with star-spangled hearts sat faithfully in rows, bent to help the boys in trench stave off those dark shadows. Day by day they all were tasked to paint two hundred with brushes made of camel hair and radium dust in vials. The numbers on the clocks were painted dainty, slim and slight. So the girls were taught to use their lips to point the bristles tight. The taste was a little foul and no one really seemed to mind. The pay was more than three times what a girl back then could find. Radium was championed, a newfound fount of youth And the few who knew the dangers kept the public from the truth For a time each painter prospered, though the work they did was tough And were delighted when they'd clock out covered in the magic stuff they decorate their drabish dresses, paint skin so they'd sparkle. No earthly sight, quite like a bullying angel in the darkness. Curialism. Curie. Even lights that shine the brightest will eventually. Passed through nimble fingers, painters dreamed and planned. Though they had, in fact, so very little time left on their hands. Soon these young girls ached as if they'd aged for 80 years. And radiating pain turned into radiating fear. Doctors did their best to treat an unknown malady, but no remedy those bodies from unraveling so aching turned to limping and sore mouths began to bleed then jaws began to break and smiles gave way to crumbling teeth families became buried beneath doctor bills and loans and grief like radium began to settle in their bones Curialism Curie To have so many sick and once seen no coincidence But the company confronted had maintained its innocence Yet they'd secretly received results that told story and they knew despite their lies that they were liable for the suffering those who had enlisted ladies to leave luminescent marks were now working overtime to keep them in the dark not a 
single protocol was changed at all though there was danger and alien workers failing fast were easily exchanged for healthy younger women unsuspecting and naive who craved to carve their own piece of the great american dream Nothing pierced those stone hearts fortified by corporate greed Even when the women's own hearts one by one had ceased to beat Curialism Wish that I could tell you that somebody had found a cure Or that when the court case first came round The crime was answered for These women walked among the living Having one foot in the grave Still they used what fight that they had left So others could be saved To this day no one can say how many lives were lost had they been sooner taken seriously it might have cut the cost you may claim women have been long since elevated in this world but how can that be our ashes still speak louder than our words so much. I can't tell you how much of a pleasure it is to be here opening for the great Livingston Taylor. He was my teacher. I went to Berkeley and I, I took, I got to take a class with him. He's an incredible teacher. He just, just mind-blowingly good. And um, so I was tickled pink uh, when I was asked to open this show and, and uh, like double whammy it's at Cl uh, Cafe Lena which I've wanted to play um, for quite some time I was here a long time ago with, with an older band but uh, it feels really good to be here as myself in front of all of you so thank you guys so much I believe I have time for one more song and then Livingston will take it from there. So thank you so much. I have uh, some CDs out. I've got a CD that will be coming out uh, this summer uh, with my string band, Traveling Light. So if you want to stay in touch, there's an, a mailing list out there. Um, and I would love to say hello. Thank you guys so much. This is called Anything Worth Doing. Oh. Uh. 
lovers up till the moment they all were pulled away like catching the last rays of a sunset on a cool summer's night knowing the stars can't always shine so bright shine so for Livingston Taylor.
All right, folks. We are ready to move forward with our evening now. Um, how about a, a quick hand for our opener, Rachel Sumner? It's fantastic, yeah. Nicely, yeah. Nicely done. Um, so I hope you check out that John Lennon songwriting competition. Uh, vote for her song. Help her out there. And uh, like I said before her set, um, we are very excited to welcome Livingston Taylor back here today. Um, I know he already said hi to quite a few of you uh, in the hallway earlier, um, hanging out before the show. Um, and I want to remind you, uh, you know, this, this type of uh, listening room is meant to be a, a very intimate shared experience between everybody in attendance, and that uh, requires phones to be silenced and, uh, and put away. Um, so if you, if you haven't done that yet, please do so now. Um, Livingston's doing the same thing. Um, <laughs> But it, it, it really makes, it makes such a difference when everybody is tuned in together um, and sharing this experience. Yeah, well, there you go. That's my job. Um, so I, I, uh, I want to just reiterate quickly what I said earlier about Livingston because um, he really, he has been, uh, you know, considered to be a master of his craft for a very long time now, but that has not stopped him from trying to improve himself, uh, push himself, uh, write new material, um, and uh, grow to be more comfortable in all of the stages that he inhabits. And um, this type of listening room is really perfect for the craft that he has worked so hard on. So um, I hope you all enjoy your uh, afternoon here with Livingston. Um, and please join me in welcoming him back here to Cafe Lena Livingston today. <laughs> Rachel was terrific, didn't you? Oh, young, talented, good looking. Not embittered by a lifetime of crushed dreams. No, be a great teacher. Um uh, yes, and I'm looking for I'm looking for that person myself. No. No, the um uh it is great to be here and uh uh it, at Cafe Lena, but also to do a matinee. A matinee, this is so civilized, people. It's Sunday, it's a freaking matinee. This is, yes, I've been waiting for this for my entire career. Um, uh, I noticed young in my career, Vladimir Horowitz, the great pianist, only did matinees, and I said, that's very civilized, and I like that. So I'm, I'm not going to adapt it quite yet because uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm greedy and like working and getting paid, but um, uh, uh, the idea of doing uh, matinees only is very, very appealing. Certain point guitar. Uh, This is always an interesting point of tension for me because I don't know whether or not the guitar is going to work. I mean, it's not like it hasn't worked at other times. It has, and it's been reliable. But this could be the moment right here that it just doesn't work. So, all, so I've got it plugged in, and, and my hand is going into. Now, when I'm not playing, I don't know that I know how to play. Because it's not like I say, oh, well, I can play the guitar. It's always a surprise. When I play a chord, was going to sound good. I just didn't think it was going to sound this good. But 
minutes go by I've learned how Stick out your arms, run real fast Pick up your feet and wow We're headed for the blue When things get clear And that special place we tried to find Is somehow oh so near What a way to be with you Hand in hand above the clouds I got loved you quite forever And now I'm saying it right out loud What a kick to open our eyes And watch the world go drifting on Slap my seat, wiggle my feet With you I belong Let's go swim in the ocean deep Get relaxed, breathe real easy as if you were asleep We can watch while dolphins play And hum along to that bubbly song that they sing on holiday What a way to be with you, special guests in the fish parade I have loved you quite forever and I am thanking you for the life you've made. Who would have thunk when we got sunk, we could find a different song. Wherever you are is where I belong. Oh, your touch is magic. Oh, your voice is music. Your easy smile reminds me I'm okay And your eyes are clear and bright Filled with joy and light And I cannot wait to know Where our love will go today Outer space That'll be fine We'll kick it right up to the speed of light And drift back to the time before we met Before I knew That someday I'd see you smile And my life would all be new Weightless when I'm in your orbit Gravity when you are near I have loved you quite forever Should I tell NASA that you're here? Voyager took a left at Pluto Into the dark of the great beyond Tag along and find new stars Darling, where you are I belong Okay, good. Check him with you. Well, these three were waiting to get in. And so I took a seat outside because it was in the hallway and the sun was lightly drifting through that window. And in my dressing room, I was going to be alone. And I found, in general, that when I'm alone with myself, I'm in the worst of company. <laughs> Anyhow, I sat down and we were discussing the Livingston Taylor show, right? I was wondering who the four people in New York State were who saw my show. <laughs> no, when the COVID hit. And I was missing you all so much. I started doing a little show in the afternoon called, unoriginally, The Livingston Taylor Show.
And I wanted a show that was a combination of Bob Ross, Happy Little Clouds, Mr. Rogers, and the Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs show, broadcast from the Grand Ole Opry between 1956 to 1964. And I thought, I want sponsors. I want sponsors because somebody once told me that Judge Judy was making $54 million a year. I said, well, I wonder how she's doing that. Oh, sponsors. So I had sponsors. Now, generally, nobody ever paid, so I would just sponsor things that I liked. The local fish market. Benefits. Nonprofits of of note and of value. But just in case, I would also have a slot for Toyota Motors. <laughs> I stayed away from banks and oil companies. Not that I wouldn't have been glad if they wanted to sponsor. Anyhow, I needed a theme song, and this was it. In a little shuffle, it says, It's the Livingston Taylor Show. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. You never know where it's gonna go. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. Is he sinking in a boat? Is he crashing in a plane? Does he even understand that the devil loves the rain? Is he casually eccentric or actually insane? What stork brought that brain? It's the Livingston Taylor Show. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. And at the end, we're out of time, we gotta go. We'll be back next week, I know. Four o'clock on Tuesdays, we're gonna turn on the tap and let it flow. It's a living stinted show. Now this is written around an easy shuffle. In E major, And if you think this is easy to play, boy, are you right. Effortless. I get lost crossing the street and I can't find my own two feet. But I love my baby and she thinks I'm sweet. I must be doing something right. She's intelligent, patient, hardworking, and shrewd. I'm sarcastic, bombastic, lazy, and rude. But we burn it up when we get in that mood. I must be doing something right. Finally, there's a crystal sunrise. Finally, the world is fair. All the love that I've kept hidden from the moon is finally ours to share. There are plenty of guys she could pick. GQ jawline hair so slick. I gotta break it to you fellas. You've all been lit. I must be doing something right. There are plenty of guys she could find good looking rich and not out of their minds but who good news love still blind and I must be doing something and I must be doing something I'm a
speed through when something right. All right, one more song in a shuffle. Now that song was called I Must Be Doing Something Right. This one's called Everybody's Just 